There you have it, CONCACAF shortlist for Men's Player of the Year. Your nominees are Michael Antonio, Jonathan David, Alfonso Davies, Chucky Lozano, Weston McKinney, Christian Pulisic by my count, two Canadians, a couple Americans, one Jamaican, and a lone Mexican. All right, Herc, time to put your ballot to the public. Who gets your vote? Before I start, can I get my 20-second soapbox for a second? My uh, good friend, producer, and director, uh, can we acknowledge the dominance of Canada? both in the men's and the women's side. And it's a travesty that Kyle Lahren isn't nominated mm. in this. Kyle Lahren, who's been an absolute monster for both club and country. Who are you but taking out should, then? I don't care. Take out, take out Chuki, okay? <laughs> take out Chuki, take out whoever you want, okay? It should be six Canadians. And we're talking about the nominations. We're talking about the women winning uh, Olympic gold. We're talking about the men dominating World Cup qualification. We're in a different era, Seb. I just want mm -hmm. you to acknowledge we're in the maple era, okay? Wow, okay. Now, as far as who I think is the best player Let me guess, is it a Canadian? <laughs> there it is, there it is. Why don't you tell us why? Uh, well, not only I'm sure, do I, I mean, feel- I'm sure, it was a tough, I'm sure it was a tough argument it, to make. It, it, it was, it's very tough. I'm gonna try my best to explain why Alfonso mm. Davies is the Player of the year in CONCACAF, besides being the absolute best player that CONCACAF, ha CONCACAF excuse me, has to offer, uh, where do we start? I mean, we can go to the Club World Cup they beat Stigadis in, because I think that's still within the cutoff, if you want to go there. We mm -hmm. can talk about the league title for Bayern Munich again. We could talk about uh, him being voted in the Bundesliga team of the season again. We could talk about also World Cup qualifying. Did you know that Canada had to qualify to the Ocho? They had to qualify to this process. So they've been playing quite a while, 13 games. Five goals, eight assists for Fonzie. There is no more, there's no player that's more impactful to his team in any team in CONCACAF than Alfonso Davies. He does it all. And if we want to talk about him in general, in his position, he also happens to be debatably the best player in the world in his position. There's no better representation in CONCACAF than Alfonso Davies. Put some respect on the man's name. All right, you love you some Fonzie, uh, no doubt about that. You wore the shirt and everything. Uh, let me ask you this, because usually when you fill out one of these ballots, you don't just pick your, your first choice, right? You throw on like a second and a third. I don't need your third choice, but I'm curious, because I want to see if it's another Canadian. Who would have been your second pick here? It was very close between Weston McKinney and Jonathan David, but I'd give it to Jonathan David, even though wow. Weston McKinney has some straight fire arguments that I'm sure you're going to bring up right now. But I just think when you talk about the level of play right now between players within CONCACAF, Jonathan David is just on another level. That's a lot of Canada love from you, Herc. I'm yeah. going to now call on, on production to help me a little bit because you always oh, put yourself up on this show. Oh, here we go. Get Chucky up, up on there. No, no, no. no you always put yourself up on this show. De guerra. No? As the great Canadian champion, the lover of all things Canada, the first guy on the Canadian bandwagon. Production, please roll tape from last oh, year. Oh, here we go, here we go. Is Canada <laughs> the best team in CONCACAF or what? No, no, they're not. And the truth, Herc, the truth for all to see. Do you see the date? Do you see the date? For all to see, Herc. Do you see the date? You still, you still will not say Canada, the best team in CONCACAF. I think it's hard not to say it. What'll Look it at say? the date, what do you always say? Huh? Opinion change, facts change. They've proven they're the best. Yeah, the other way, the other way. But, oh, whatever, uh, you say well, it sounds backwards okay, so, uh, when you talk. Let me, yes, let me make the case. I'm gonna make the case here for Weston McKinney. Production. I'm not gonna argue against Alfonso Davies or Jonathan David, because they would both be very, very worthy winners. But if I was to make a case for McKinney, I would focus on value to his team, right? You mentioned Alfonso Davies and everything that he did. Bayern Munich's win in the Bundesliga without Alfonso Davies. And I would have thought that Canada would struggle without Alfonso Davies. And then what happened? They went nine for nine in the last window, including a victory over the United States, without Fonzie, which makes me think, okay, they can do it without him. Juventus right now are fourth. Two points out of missing the Champions League. If not for Weston McKinney, they might miss out on that top four. Forget the U.S. national team. Forget the U.S. national team, who right now are second. Comfortable is probably not the right word, but well on track to make the World Cup. Without his goals, without his performances, would the U.S. be there? So if I'm looking at this less as best player in CONCACAF and more as most valuable player, then I would go with McKinney. There's another point to be made about McKinney here. I did not think 
that the so-called punishment for what he did in Nashville met the gravity of what he did in Nashville, right? He put in jeopardy his team's qualification to the World Cup. That's a real thing that happened. But it's not up to me to punish him. And now that he served his punishment, what he did after the punishment says a lot. That's a player who learned from a mistake and didn't just stabilize, but got way better. In fact, he's enjoying not just the best moment of his year, I think the best moment of his career coming off turmoil like that. I think you can make a very solid case for Weston McKinney for the best player in CONCACAF, but I'm not going to go against your Davies. I'm not going to go against your David. Uh, production, you want to roll the clip where he said that uh, he's got no place on the U.S. men's national team, he should be kicked off? Or do you want to roll the clip of when he said a month and a half ago that he was not playing well for Juventus? Are we not going to roll that clip? No? All he right. wasn't playing well in that game. Go All back right. and check the ratings. We talked you about just one game. Up a I said video he wasn't from November, playing. guy. <laughs> Mira, I I say you said something. I pro I provide the tape. You say I said something. There's no tape. So Production. you're a liar. You're I'm a liar. Sorry, I, was I don't know Bowl. what to tell you, bro. Show the evidence. The stupid thing ain't working. Zip I didn't have time to call production. Mm, you didn't Jeez. have time to call production. Right, right. Very, very uh, busy man. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.